Hey everybody, um, it's me, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a drop down menu, like um, where you click hover over your mouse and it drops down. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Alright, let's get started. The first way is um, right here, in, um, right here in your insert, we're going to go to spray, right here where it's a spray menu bar, we're going to click that and then OK. And then we're going to save this just, I'll save it on my desktop as Untitled 5. And then we're going to do horizontal, and we're going to hit OK. Now you see here it is, our menu bar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit this little blue thing right there, and here's our editor. So first what we're going to do is, let's say we want only three items. We want the first item to be called um, Home. Hit Enter. Second item to be called... Um, Tutorials, enter, and the third you want to be a contact us, oops, us, like that. Alright, so on the home page, we want just no, we don't want any of these, so we're going to hit minus, minus, and minus. And then the tutorials, we, we have three tutorials, let's say, up. The first one is going to be called, um, how, oops. Or you can do tutorials. Uh, you can do subcategories. So let's say Dream Weaver. Hit enter. Now that we're in Dream Weaver, we're making a new one and do oops, simple website and hit enter. And you see here, simple website. Now we can do another one that says Photo Shop. Hit enter. And then we can have here one that says album cover and sometimes you won't delete it that this where it says untitled item so you just have to ah all right there we go you have to kind of delete it and hit enter and let's say you want the third one to be flash and you want it to say custom button ah this keeps happening um all right and then contact us you want in the first column, um, you don't want any minus, minus. First column, you want it to say email us. Um, and then we can do another one. And then right here, this is cool. So what you can do is let, um, let's say you want to email me. Oh, oops. Um, and we can do text, oh my gosh, Jason. And then here in the link, we can write mail to colon Jason at real. Or actually, we'll do this one, real tutty at gmail.com. And um, if you just put the email, it won't do it. You have to make sure it hit um, mail to. And the reason the pound sign's there, it's just for the spray menu. Normally you wouldn't have that if you're just doing a regular link. And you can hear, we can write YouTube. And then here we can have my YouTube channel on um, HTTP colon slash slash um, YouTube.com slash user slash little tutty. All right. And then we can hit enter. And then the third one, we can have it say about um and we would have this link to our about page um and here let me show you let me go um not preview and safari i'll just show you in live view so um go to tutorials you can see simple website here's that contact us we have our email uh youtube about um pretty simple right all right um now the second one is let me just delete that Second one is is in um, is a widget finder from the widget finder. Um, let me just make this bigger. All right, that was kind of weird. All right, okay, there we go. So what we can do is not out to my widgets. Adobe Exchange. So you can download this from the Adobe website. And um, here, um, people can make websites, and then you can. Um, or not widgets, then you can do it. 
So let's say, where's, um, there was one that I found that I really liked. Um, drop down. Oh, where was it? Not J. Keery tabs. Um, sorry, one second. I'll just do this one. And see, now we can hit. Right, once this thing stops spinning. It has to download it. Alright, now we can do add to my widgets. Accept. Go to my widgets. And then see, here's the one. And here's another one I downloaded. Let's just say we'll use this actually for today. But let's say um, we wanted to go to... We don't have any presets. But let's see, we can go to configure right here. And then in configure, we can do all this um, stuff. So we can have like a vertical one. Um, we can have a horizontal you know, full width. I don't really like that. Let's just do centered width. No. Line fixed width. Hold on, was it? Alright, there we go. Alright, we'll do that. Um, then we'll do some menu layout. We'll leave it the same. Colors, uh, menu bar, let's say red, red, red. Let's so have green text. Hover over, we'll put it in kind uh, label, we'll do this, and we'll do that, or actually, yeah, sure. Um, and then the sub menus will leave the same, and now here, I'll name this mine, it's normally what I name it, Hit save preset. Alright, now we go back to Dreamweaver, we go to here, go to comment. Uh, widget and here I want this is the oh no actually this is the one that's the one I downloaded but we were using this one I believe and you go to mine and hit OK now if you look here um, it doesn't look the same you're like well what happened this is just the code for it but if, if you see if we go to live view see we have this so what we can do is let's say we want the entertainment to be tutorials um, and then the trick is to get it to work, you have to highlight it and link it, just the pound sign, and hit enter. And then it'll work. Now we want this one to say, um, Dream, oops, Dream Weaver. We want this one to say, oh my gosh, Photoshop, I think that's right. And then in Photoshop, you want a tutorial that says, um, let's do album cover. And then see it's black. The reason is, is because it got this length and just hit pound. And then we can go also have one that says, um, website. And let's say this is a, um, three part tutorial. Then we can hit pound, and then we can have another submenu right here that says part one, part two, and part three. And if you want to link something else to it, um, you just do it with the pound sign after it. Um, and then you can have another one that says, um, let's say, Flash. Oops. Let me link this. Let me hit pound and enter. Then let's say we want. Oh, oops. Sorry. Let me delete. I did that in the wrong spot. This has to be flash. And then we link it with a pound sign. And then here we can have this one say custom button we can have that one say um app um we can have this one say let's say website like a flash website all right and then just for right now i'm going to delete the rest of these so we just have that and then we just have that Alright, now, if we go to live view, let's see we have tutorials, 
Photoshop website for 123 and we have our flash stuff and then we have our home and if you look and then when they're covered up the text they turn different colors it's kind of like almost a flash button but the thing that's nice about this is there's no flash um this won't have her however sorry uh work on a mobile um unless you're using like some type of it won't work on a mobile device because you have to hover over you can't click on it um and, well, if you have it linked to something, um, then you can't click on it. But if you don't have it linked, then it can click. Um, anyway, um, I think that's it for the tutorial today. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.